Hello. Um, yeah, I'm Kadarev. I will be running Tomb Raider 4. With me, I have Eid God. Hi. Who is one of the old boys of the Tomb Raider community, I would say. Sure. Yes. And uh, John Mumerick, who passed the internal audition for <laughs> Commentary. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, and German won. So we will have this in German. Uh, yeah. Good choice. Yes, so yeah, enjoy that in uh, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we start out in uh, Cambodia. This is interesting. You mean Cambodia? <laughs> why can I not go to the right? Oh, I know why. Or do I? Yes, because uh, my cable was pressing a different key. Anyway, so this is Cambodia. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is kind of the tutorial level. Um, you have, you already saw the, uh, the old gentleman there. So that's Werner, that's our mentor. Um, that jump looks more scary than it is, honestly, but I'm still glad that I got it first tried. Otherwise, it would have been really embarrassing. So yeah, tutorial level means a lot of um, rather simple explanations like press space to jump and whatnot. Um, so I hope that <coughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> no but one it's saw okay. that. No, it's fine. I can show this amazing backup strat, which always works easy. So now it was worth it to grind secrets for the last two months. It's good. Um, yeah. So uh, here we already <coughs> learn how to shimmy. And basically the setup is that only in the prologue we will play as young Lara. So supposedly she's 16 here. Good. And <laughs> sorry. Yes, thank you, Werner. Um, <laughs> soon we will um, play as grown up Lara. Um, and that will be in Egypt only. And in the prologue, there's not too much going on glitch-wise, um, but there are some Corner shortcuts bucks. we can do, exactly. Corner bucks, yes. as they exist in all the classic Tomb Raider games from 1 to 5, are very helpful at all times. Like this? Uh, yeah, if you basically get into a corner in this game, uh, in this game engine, I would like to say, uh, the game tries to put you on top of it, and that's exactly what happened there. Yeah, so if there is collision on top, then you pop out. If there is no Dort collision... Oben sich ein Hebel. Legen Sie ihn um und Sie Don't dann talk into us. Geht zurück. Die Aufgabe ist fast gelöst. I need to listen to him to know what to do. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, if there is no collision on top where you go out of bounds, then you will actually be stuck out of bounds, which sounds not as useful, but... Der Rest ist nur noch ein Katzensp. Danach drücken Sie auf vorwärts und schwingen sich hinüber. Die Aktion ist ein Katzensp. Sonst nehmen Sie noch mal ein Bad. Those are some really nice pigtails. <laughs> wow. Did someone tell you to yes. point that out? Yes. I wonder who that was. Mm. Where is Howard? <laughs> He's not, not here. here. Not what? here. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> He'll watch this later. Hi, Howard. <laughs> He's preparing for another great game later. Oh, yeah. Correct, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, what you also will soon see is um, cutscenes in this game are not skippable. There are FMVs and there are in-game cutscenes. FMVs we can actually disable. I hope I remembered that. But I mean, I already know I remembered that because there was none at the start. Yep. Um, yeah, in-game cutscenes we cannot skip, which in this game amounts to, I think, roughly 10 minutes, maybe. It used to be a lot more, wasn't it? Yes, but uh, if you really want to see cutscenes, you can also watch or run uh, the follow-up game to this, Tomb Raider 5, which uh, in a 55 minutes run has 23 minutes of cutscenes. <laughs> Well, anyway, so here's the first cutscene. Um, there is no dialogues, so actually, will not talk over Lara. But um, basically, Lara finds the backpack here, which is the backpack. She the legendary will, yes, backpack. Exactly. And she definitely needs this exact backpack. Yeah. And. Yeah, she picks it off with that guy. Yes, because why not? It's here. Mm. But it's, yeah, it's a waste not picking it up. Exactly. He doesn't need it anymore, I guess. Or they don't need it anymore. And the only reason we actually need to go in here is to uh, switch, uh, hit that lever there to uh, make the door, to open the door. And then we will actually um, do another glitch that will come in handy later on. So what I will do is I will underflow my med pack counter. <coughs> um, in Tomb Raider 4 and 5, you have your med packs, uh, you have hotkeys for your med packs. 
And if you use your very last med pack with a hotkey, you will decrease the counter, but you will not get any healing from it. So if you do that in an inventory, you can once again decrease that counter by one more if you use it normally thereafter. So you go to negative numbers, which corresponds to an uh, infinite amount of med packs. Yeah. So we're going from 1 to 0 to minus 1, and then that turns into basically infinite. Exactly. Although, yeah. of course, it's not infinite. But for all Intensive practical purposes, purposes... And if you go into the inventory, it will actually say infinite. Yeah. So, or in this case, unbegrenzt, I guess. Just... Yeah. Sie durch die Öffnung. Tauchen Sie durch die Öffnung. Drücken Sie... Eine Tauchrolle aus. Calm down. down. This is a great <laughs> Tomb Raider for me. I kind of miss Werner's accent. Zur rechten sehen Sie den Weg der Kette. Like Aber er doesn't have it in the German version. Erkennen Sie den Pfad der Tugend. Sie kennen mich, Werner. Ich bin der geborene Tugendwächter. Mhm. Mm so now the question is. Yes, I messed up. So I need to pick up a large med pack later on. I accidentally healed one too many. Yes. <laughs> yep. It's okay. We will survive, hopefully. Luckily, we can activate the glitch anywhere as long as you have one large med kit. And you took damage. Yes. And are not full health, yeah. Yes. So it's pretty easy to set up, it's just faster to set up in the tutorial. Yes, because your inventory is not cluttered yet, but yep. it's okay. And if I will remember to pick up a large med pack. I will try to remember you on what level is that? Just the, the very next? next yes, the very yes, next, yes. okay. So here we have ropes. Oh, the worst mechanic in this game. They're great. Sometimes, sometimes they're not great. And then we're out of this level and we will have to actually race Werner because he will challenge us to race. For reasons, I guess. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. But first, some dialogues. Der letzte Akt. Sie sind eine Musterschülerin, Lara, auch wenn Sie die oberste Grundregel allen Abenteuers noch nicht kennengelernt haben. Den unbedingten Siegeswillen koste es, was es wolle. Ich werfe Ihnen den Federhandschuh hin, mein Kind. Wer als erster die Iris erreicht, hat gewonnen. Passen Sie gut auf sich auf, alter Mann. Ich werde keine Rücksicht nehmen. <lacht> ich habe auch nichts anderes erwartet. Ich zähle bis drei. Eins, zwei. And of course oh he no. cheats. Fucking Again, cheater. like every time he gets me. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, that's the whole lesson he's teaching us, right? He, he wants us to understand that it's all about trying to win. Yeah, and uh, that cheating is okay, apparently. So yeah. I wonder if we can use that against him. So as you can tell, we also have a timer. So this is uh, legit speedrunning. Yep. IL. Yes. Already perfect line, obviously. And soon we will have uh, another cutscene. And then we will also have time for some donations. But uh, yeah, so we are pretty much already way ahead of Werner. So it's pretty pointless to drag this on any longer. So let's also take a shortcut here. And uh, we're home free, basically. He didn't even see you cheating there. So technically, yeah, you didn't right. cheat. And there we go. So yeah, uh, there will be some dialogues. Um, basically, Lara, or they find some artifact. Werner tries to get it, and some stuff happens. But yeah, you can take it away with the donations. And I will take it in with the donations. I have a five-dollar donation from Mepsipak saying, "My leg is stuck. My leg is stuck. Help me, Lara. My leg." I wonder what that means. I also have a fifty-dollar anonymous donation without a comment, but still, thank you very much for that. We have a $38 donation from Peer Bib saying, I hereby honor my donation incentive. $38 for a good cause and an awesome Celestron. Thank you everyone for all support. Shout out to Vandal Nabilo on the French restroom beside all our colleagues, commentators and, re commentators and restrooms. Donation goes to actual runner's choice. Would that be me? Yeah. Nice. Uh, put that to Hanit for uh, Octopath Travel, please. <laughs> Great support here. <laughs> if you got any more messages, we still got some time here. This takes a couple I more mean, seconds. I mean, to be fair, soon there will be the important I guess. quote, but okay. it should be time for one more. Yeah. So one quick one, five dollars from Seven Bolt Seven. Game is in German. Achtung! <laughs> Do your best, Caddy. Shout out from the French restroom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is the artifact I was mentioning. Um, and here comes the donation. 
Yeah. Are you ready, guys? Oh God. Get very excited. Oh dear. Acting, man. So yeah, like Haldara says, she's already on her way to help Werner. And then Werner. she doesn't move she doesn't at move all. And just runs away. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Okay, med pack. Med pack, yes, correct. I didn't so yeah. have to say it. <laughs> and now we're in Egypt, and we're playing with grown up Lara, and that will be the case for the rest of the run. Uh, grown up Lara has some very useful tools, or she will pick them up soon. Uh, so the first thing I will do is stock up on flares, which are one of the greatest things in this yes. game. So they don't just light up places, I guess. Yeah. As we will soon see, they are also magic wands. Yeah, of. flares in the earlier games uh, mostly are used to uh, cancel falling animations, but in this game they're even more useful, glitching into <laughs> walls and corners and doing all kinds of fancy stuff. Yes, and someone also left a shotgun here, so that's nice. Very convenient. I think there should be a med pack here. Yes. And you're even taking damage, it's perfect. Yes, but I can't pick up if the... If it doesn't <laughs> block you. <laughs> Come on, Scorpion. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should kill it. Maybe I should just... Uh <laughs> Maybe you should just kill it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't want to, but I guess I... Oh, he's helping Oh, he's you. helping me, nice. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, right. so... <laughs> Hardest trick in the game. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, you may have heard that Lara sighing for a brief moment. Uh, that happens whenever you heal her. We may or may not heal that, uh, her a little bit more later on, I don't know. Yeah. So now he has infinite big med kits, which means that uh, in yeah, when we take damage, we just heal every time. Yes, so a bit mech. Big, big mech, yeah. yes, that as well. But uh, big med <laughs> kits, they heal you for full. Yep. Small would only heal you for fifty percent, so there's yep. no real reason to dupe the small ones unless yep. you run out of big ones first. <laughs> but since I used up all of them, unlikely. Yes. So, so here you can see, yep. um, basically, if you place a flare next to a wall and you pick it up facing away from the wall, you miss your flare cancels. Um, Lara will be placed behind the flare, which in that case yeah. means she's placed behind the wall, so she's out of bounds, and then as we previously mentioned, um, she will either be put on top if there's collision, or she will stay out of bounds uh, yeah, if there is no collision on top. It's just another um, classic Tomb Raider mechanic, then uh, if you pick, an up uh, pick up an item, you usually get teleported into a very <laughs> specific place by the engine, and that's exactly what happens there. So here you're supposed to wait... <laughs> Nobody saw that? <laughs> Here you're supposed to wait for the guides uh, to lower those blades. But if you go first try. This spot, easy. First try. Yes. Thank God for fast loading times. Yeah, that's actually. Yeah, in Tomb Raider 3 and 4, uh, like older, you need to. Saving and loading takes like 3 seconds. In this game, it's nearly instant. Yes. I wish I had that. And uh, you may have seen there shortly, I was combining items in the inventory. Also a Tomb Raider 4 new mechanic. Yes. Uh, not used too much in the run. I should actually get rid of that one as well. Don't watch. <coughs> Oops. Poor dog. Yeah, sorry. It's calling Peter right now. So after this flyby, I have to make my way into the next level. Um, there is actually a sand hill blocking the entrance, but yeah, flares are very useful for that as well. Hopefully. Oh, look, there is my friend again. <sighs> so that was a successful flare cancel, at least. And I will set up two flares here, and I will um, pick them up, pick them up, pick, pick them up repeatedly while facing in a somewhat specific direction. And if everything goes well, Lara will just uh, yeah, go up this hill. And at the top of this, uh, you can see the entranceway there. 
there's just enough space that Lara will uh, be considered to be, like that she can put, be put in there. And um, if you're slightly off to the left or right, she will just uh, fall down again. But there we are. And now you can just crouch and go in here, and that's that level. Flare magic. Yes. And then we come up to burial chambers and binoculars, because binoculars are very useful, it turns out. Yeah, it's by far the most useful item that exists in this game. Yes. So, yeah. do you want to explain? I um, don't know the full details, sure, you can go for but it. it's essentially a magic teleporter looking glass. <laughs> exactly, that's what uh, I know as well. So. And yeah, um, if there is no active objects on the map, Correct, yes, yes, okay. Then you can use flares to glitch into a corner so you're out of bounds. Then you use the binoculars to look at a specific place and then you kind of throw it. And then uh, the game thinks that Lara is in a completely different spot because she's outside of the map. Uh, and that spot where you kind of teleport yourself to is usually the ending trigger of the level. Is that accurate enough? Mm, pretty good. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so basically there's a list of priorities of entities that will get the um, ability to interact with triggers. Top of, of course, Lara, but as soon as she's out of bounds, no then there's usually the enemies, then even flares can interact with triggers, and the object with the very least priority is the camera. So if we make sure there are no other active objects on the map, then we can use our camera to interact basically with anything. But, so you might think, well then just go out of bounds as early as possible and just trigger everything yeah, remotely. it's not that easy. It's not that easy. For one, uh, we can only throw the camera a certain distance. And sometimes there are also a lot, a lot of stuff already loaded in. So for example, these mummies I cannot get rid of right now. So from now on I cannot use the binoculars for the rest of this level. Yeah. So we will just uh, get out of this level now, normally with some flare magic. So there's not too much more to say. So uh, if we have some donations, please. Yep. We actually do. We have ten dollars from Fino the Fox saying, Hey Kadarev, I'd tell you to you to do a great job during this run, but you don't need me to. You always do a great job. <coughs> Instead, I'll ask you if you can give me a hee hee in honor to our fallen friend Vamp Streak. Love <laughs> you but smooches. Thank you very much. Was that the hee hee? Yes, I tried to bury it underneath the donation. Right. So. Come on, you gotta <laughs> give a proper one for that. <laughs> 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 there you go. I will never hear the end of this. No? No. That was an interesting slide. I mean, you can still go. It's fine. Yeah, there's nothing to... Like, we already explained all of this, essentially. So I will go. I would just want to uh, do a quick shout-out to uh, one of our partners, View Sonic Elite. Uh, with over 30 years of experience working on CRT to uh, one millisecond LCD monitors, ViewSonic Elite is using that knowledge to take their gaming products in a new direction. They are providing us with all of the gaming monitors during this marathon. So thank you very much to our partner, ViewSonic Elite. So all of this makes sense? Don't worry yeah, this is uh, hitboxes, but no textures. So nothing... I mean... It exists in other games yeah. as well. So we just jumped around some enemy triggers, which means there is still nothing loaded in, and we can still use our camera for triggering stuff. Yep. And then we can use the magic binoculars. Yes. But we need to get in a, a bit closer to the level exit before we can use them. And then it's going to be a really technical level, which I hope I can uh, get through somewhat unscathed. So much teleporting. So this is the uh, spot where we, do it. we use the binoculars, or the fernglas, I guess. And then uh, I hope you enjoy the music. Oh yeah, it's uh, supposedly a chase scene. You're supposed to get into what a car mean? and chase that car there. Or you can just do nothing. And, or you could just stand there for a yes. couple seconds. I mean, a couple of seconds, a minute. So, so this is what we explained earlier. Um, so right now I'm out of bounds, so the next thing that has priority to interact with triggers is the enemy that you just saw On the drive truck. away. Yes. Yeah. And I will basically just wait until he reaches the level. 
really good music. I yeah. know. Did you know that uh, Lara has uh, released two albums? <laughs> She has? Yes. I did, did not know that. Did yeah. you look with that up the, somewhere? Yeah, with uh, some uh, hot <laughs> singles like uh, Getting Naked. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Yes, I mean, I'm not the lore expert, but you no. are. So. Okay. I mean, we can also take a look at Lara. It's okay. Please. Why do you not? There we go. Oh, she looks fierce. <laughs> She's ready to chase some cars. <laughs> Clearly she is. In her <laughs> mind, she's falling. <laughs> it's also not awkward at all. No, it's <laughs> fine. But it's already <laughs> over, so it's okay. So, uh, yeah, as you will see, Lara clearly won the race. Uh, and she's really good at driving cars. Well, there she comes. Maybe Oops. not that good. <laughs> She did win the race, though. Yeah, right. I did really well in that mm -hmm. chase level. Yeah, was a bit close, but you got it. So I'm two for two two oh fine races, right? Already mm -hmm. the one against Werner. Yeah. Right? Although, you d yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what? You cheated them both. <laughs> How was that cheating? I don't know. Maybe the teleporting part. Intentional use of game mechanics. <laughs> Oh yeah, sure. Developer intended. Just okay. like this again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is like the first bigger hub level. So um, Tomb Raider 4 is by far the, the longest um, Tomb Raider to play through casually. Because yep. there's also a lot of backtracking involved. So, like this is still the same level, even though there was a loading screen. And you can go back and forth between these on some of the levels. And this is still the same level. Yes. And uh, here I will trigger three scorpions, and I need to get rid of them. And the best thing to do is, of course, to use the shotgun. And then I will do what we call a flare jump. So I will actually explain this after I do it, hopefully. Good. So I once again placed a uh, flare close to the wall. I uh, picked it up to embed into it, but I also placed the flare again behind me. And what happened is basically Lara tried to pick up the flare, and while she's in that animation, she has no collision. And we also gained the ability to move again, so when we just jump forward, we have no collision during that jump, uh, allowing us to bypass that door and just uh, getting out of the sacred lake without having to do any backtracking to unlock it. And this is a bit of a longer level uh, in this run because, once again, the level end trigger is really far away from the starting point. How inconveniently yes, programmed. I know. That's terrible. I didn't think of the speedrunners, man. <sighs> Get used to that. That yes. was a preview. Yeah, there's a lot more coming. Just it has gotten like <laughs> second nature to me to just uh, press number nine key whenever the health bar is up there. So I'll, I'll try to minimize it for now. No, it's okay. <laughs> Get them used to it slowly. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. <sighs> One. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, um, this uh, infinite <laughs> medkit glitch is the main reason why this game can be as fast as it is. I mean, among I mean, the other glitches also help, of course. Like yeah, binoculars and whatnot. It's one of the also one of the f like first ones that yes. was found and made the game a lot easier. Binoculars uh, came afterwards, kind of in the in importance and discovery timeline. And you know more about that than I do. <laughs> I do you still remember watching a certain Finnish speedrunner hmm. being the only one who even knew how they uh, worked. <laughs> well, that's one way to keep your records. Yeah, yeah and any anyone who wanted to learn the game and get good had to be personally coached by him <laughs> to even understand anything. <laughs> but luckily, um, I, mean, I guess sadly as well, kind of miss him. But luckily, those yeah. times are over. He uh, pops up every now and then again. Yeah, sometimes in the chat there and here. Yeah. Um, Maybe in the chat right now, who knows? I don't know. So 
So we're reaching the end of this uh, first tomb, I guess. Um, after this, yeah, a bit of a scenery change. But first, we have to go out of bounds here again with a flare jump. He is actually in chat. He is. Hey Hello, up. Riku. <laughs> Hi, Riku. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now we're close enough to the level exit. And there we go. So now we're on a train. Yeah. The original Uncharted, I have never heard that before. Yeah, Uncharted 2. So. It's like Murder on the Orient Express. <laughs> Lara, the, well, the, the serial killer. <laughs> there will be some kind of death soon, but uh, yeah. we'll see. But yeah, this level, there is no way to go out of bounds and like remote trigger stuff, so it will be a lot of jumping and running. We'll jump around some cutscene triggers that will also spawn enemies. So that's why you will sometimes see me do some weird jumps. But other than that, uh, yeah, not too much to talk about. So donation time if you want to. Of course I want it. A Minty sends $10 and says, I love you. Can't stay for the full run, but I know you'll rock it. Stay hydrated. I'll try. We also have a $20 anonymous donation saying, much love and many thanks for what you do. And I also want to do a quick shout out to one of our partners, The Yeti. Uh, if you go to the site www.theyeti, this is T H E Y E T E E, dot com slash ESA, you can check out their merch specially designed for us. And every $5 per shirt and $4 per pin goes straight to our charity, which is Alzheimer's Foundation. Uh, here I do somewhat some weird uh, jumps. This is a setup to land on top of this uh, tarp here. Yeah, it's an extremely tight jump. Yeah, and shimming, you're supposed to actually shimmy around it, but shimming is very slow, so it's actually worth it to not sprint along there, but do the jumps so you can land on top of it. And obviously missing or going... No, 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 no. Uh. <laughs> didn't hear the splat. <laughs> exactly, so it doesn't count. And yep. uh, what I was about to say is going next to the train, of course, is a bit lethal. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would never happen, so it's okay. And this whole level, uh, I think you only need one item, really, right? Yes. So yeah, we're going all the way back to the end of the train to get one item and then go back to the front. Yes. And this is that item, I think? This is the shotgun, which I just need yeah. for ammunition, but this is that this item. This is the item, yes. yeah. So and we now we need to get back up front. Exactly. So we just need the crowbar to be in to be able to interact with these uh, switches. Yeah. But uh, for casual play, this would be a very important item. We n won't really use it after this anymore. Yeah, speaking of casual play, I didn't really understand how the crowbar worked in the <laughs> next level. I didn't realize you could just like use it to open certain doors, because yeah. that yeah, mechanic that never existed in the previous games. Wow, that still worked. So yeah, that was another uh, jump around the cutscene. I did not expect that to work out. And there's one more. <laughs> well, this one we saw. That was just me bumping the microphone. Mm -hmm. There See? you go. See, like, why would I miss that? Yep. Uh, I will also not say that that was the, is usually the easiest one. Also, the camera here is really useful. You can clearly see where you're jumping. And uh, yeah, so now we decouple the rest of the train, if I can get the train. <laughs> Oops. We got out of the train. Right. But that doesn't doesn't really matter to Lara, she can catch up again, it's fine. <laughs> like look there like she will be there. It's yeah. okay. It's a train. Yeah. If I remember correctly, this level is pretty great. A lot of, lot of stuff happening here. Yeah, like actually we were supposed, or we used to run around this level a bit, but uh, luckily there was also some new stuff found, so we can now also use the binocular for yep. this level. <laughs> we haven't even left the first square yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's there a great go. level. <laughs> yeah, this one is a bit longer, um, and you will see how great crawling is because uh, it's. A rather slow, and you can also do some stuff while craw crawling. But uh, first, I want to save some time here. Uh, swimming is really slow and surfacing again, so you can uh, do a somewhat precise jump there to skip that. And then you go in here and you look at the time, and you realize this is not good. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's actually my favorite uh, phrase that Lara has. Um. No, 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 no. I just want to get the flare out as early as possible and then uh -huh. misplace it anyways. Yeah. 
All strats. Still the best voice line, though. <laughs> yeah, if you if French would have won, would have, I would have actually heard a non, because uh, French no? is the only other language they recorded that for, I think. So special. Yeah, no, right. But for German, they did not feel the need to do a nine. Mm. Did you know that there were Lara Croft uh, <laughs> stamps in France? <laughs> what? <laughs> now I do. She was a very <laughs> popular <laughs> character. What, what kind of stamp? How many... Wait, was that still francs or was that euro already? Uh. <laughs> Probably still <laughs> francs, right? Probably. 99, I, I'll, right? I'll have to check that yeah, out. I think 99. Now that you say it, is, wasn't she at one point better known than the Pope? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. Better Nine. known than the Pope? Yeah. Yeah. 1990, yeah. she was uh, more uh, recognized uh, than the Pope. Next up, you're gonna tell me there's movies about her. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, here we do what we call a keyhole glitch. So, if you place a flare next to one of these um, places where you can put in key items like this, uh, Lara is kind of forced to interact with whatever item is there because she like enters that state where she interacts with things. But since the keyhole is closer, she just interacts with that instead. Even though we didn't actually obtain the item to put in there. So that also saves a lot of time here because you're actually supposed to go through a lot of side areas here uh, collecting keys for this. But uh, yeah, I guess not. Items are optional if you have layers. Yes. And uh, that opens the big gate at the bottom, which you may have seen. And uh, yeah, then we can enter Cleopatra's palaces, which actually has the most finicky of these binocular glitches. So hopefully it goes somewhat well. And uh, yeah, then uh, I would advise you to get your headphones ready in case you listen via loudspeakers. <laughs> was actually Euros. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Educational. Yeah. We're teaching you, Chad. The more and you know. Me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there have been Euro post stamps of Lara Croft in France. <laughs> So at the start, um, there is a cutscene here that I want to bypass. It's not too long of a cutscene, so it doesn't matter too much if I don't get it. Which yeah, what he does there is he jumps through the corner so yes. that he skips the one square that would trigger yes. stuff. And here is uh, what we, what some would call a setup. I just call it the Hail Mary. Sometimes this works well, sometimes it doesn't. So let's see. And then we wait and hope it triggers. <laughs> Soonish, please. There we go. Easy. Nice. So yeah, this is the um, Cairo uh, level. Yes, it's the Cairo <laughs> level, and this is the vehicle we get to use in Tomb Raider 4. So in Tomb Raider 2, you had. <laughs> Never mind that. <laughs> That's normal. Yes. <laughs> get used to it. So in Tomb Raider 2. <clears throat> okay, I don't get to talk about the other game. It will stop in a bit, don't yes. worry. There you go. What I want to say is that there were different like vehicles in different games, but uh, yeah, anyway, so hope you have your headphones ready. Yeah, here we go. Time for some <laughs> yeah, Lara's don't spoil it. Lara is very amused about this, how bad this run is. So <laughs> so yeah, um, there's a flamethrower there on the roof. <laughs> Apparently. And it is just faster to not care about getting set on fire because we have uh, that one med kit like glitch uh, that allows us just heal constantly. Yeah. And fire just does damage over time. That's correct. And because the fire never stops unless you die or get into water, we will have this fire for a while. So get used to the arms. Correct. <laughs> Not even close. No. And yeah, vehicles. Uh, so in Tomb Raider 4, you get this spike. And in some of the earlier Tomb Raiders, there's actually a lot more variety, I yes. would say. Quad bikes, kayaks, skidoos. Uh, boats, skidoos. And in Tomb Raider 5, you just get a uh, uh, diving suit. 
which doesn't really uh, control very much differently from swimming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in this game, Lara is. Uh, what is the movie called again? Something like Hellrider? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Ghost Remember Rider. That? Ghost. Ah, oh, Ghost Rider. Yes. Ah, close enough. You know what I meant. Yes. So you saw me kill some guys there. Well, once again, want to use my binoculars. Uh, that's why I did that. And then uh, you go there and you appear here. And there is a bike here, so that's nice. So we're kind of doing this level in reverse. You're supposed to collect some uh, upgrades for your bike. So you can make f like uh, for jumps. But since you can just uh, teleport, that's easier to do. And now we will... Uh, meet some uh, Egyptian general who we were first supposed to meet and he gives us these fetch quests to collect the uh, the different items for our bike. But since we approach him from the other side this will actually already trigger the end of the level and the cutscene and uh, yeah uh, that means we can have some donations. I don't need to heal by the way. So. <laughs> Just for the fun. We can have some donations indeed. We have ten dollars from random Pinky Bunny saying Mine Bane! Stay cool, Caddy. We also have five dollars from Genesis saying good luck, Caddy. Hope you don't get burned out on your run today. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if there are any other fire puns that could come up during this run. We are still waiting for them. <laughs> for now, I also want to uh, talk about one of the incentives that is coming up, coming up uh, for one of our future runs, and that is uh, The Last of Us, because it comes it's in a couple of hours. Uh, we still have to collect about $400 in order to uh, get to uh, play Left Behind DLC after the any percent run uh, of this game. So if you want to see uh, another bonus incentive and bonus run, uh, feel free to donate to that, that incentive. So basically, the, uh, you saw the big monster was blocking, or you can see it now, it's blocking the entrance way to the citadel, and this uh, general now decides he takes matters into his own hands. And uh, He's the this, true hero. Yes, this truck is loaded with TNT or something, or explosives anyways. Uh, yeah, so there he goes. Chad is spamming all the, the fire puns <laughs> that he can think of. Too bad I can't read them. It's okay. When you watch you that video... You don't need to read them out, it's okay. <laughs> when you watch that video later at home, you can read them and have a good time. So you saw uh, the fire uh, was extinguished. So uh, I guess, uh, yeah, hope you like that short intermezzo. There we go. Wait, what is that sound? <laughs> hmm. What? What could that be? Yeah, I don't know. Seems like it was all just fake because, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> So there's a very long cutscene uh, that would trigger if I would go any further than this. So I want to do another flare jump here to bypass that trigger uh, through that wall. So you, uh, yeah, as I said, I didn't need to heal during that previous cutscene because it was tied to the level end trigger. So I automatically spawn again in the next level with full health. But for cutscenes that play during the level, I actually still need to heal while yeah. they're going on. Or it ends with a dead Laura. Yes. This is also not ironic at all. No, this is fine. Uh, also, <laughs> never have been asked before if we really need the torch for this, but yeah. <laughs> That's one of the two questions that always pop up. The other one you will probably also figure out soon. But yeah, here I need to discard the torch because it actually counts as an active item, so it would block my binoculars from uh, remote triggering stuff. And so you just throw it into the void. Exactly. So since this is an in-game cutscene and not the level end cutscene, I still need to uh, heal. And that's an active enemy, so I need to get rid of him as well. But I don't want to go all the way around there. So uh, I'm going to take some shortcuts. Because I have a flare. And I have a grenade launcher, and grenade launcher has pretty good kill animation. Mm -hmm. They kind of disintegrate everything. Hopefully this run doesn't burn out. <laughs> hmm. Why are you doing this to yourself? You think I'm going to watch this terrible run? Mm, I guess. 
Might as well commit to it. So um, here I pick up some more grenade ammo because it's a very good weapon, especially later on. Um, and then I want to get out, so I hope I hope this has some flickering, but I'm sorry for this flickering, but this indicates that there are no enemies on the map. And then I just need to hit the uh, cutscene, and there we go. So once again, this makes sense. So now uh, Lara meets Werner again, but he's possessed by an evil god. And Lara is possessed by fire. <laughs> And he tries to intimidate her, and uh, yeah. Oh my god, those eyes, yeah, what's happening there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I wasn't there. Wh whatever he's done, it's his business. Danke, aber davon habe ich schon mehr als genug. Und nebenbei, gib einem Schakal die Hand und der beißt gleich in den ganzen Arm. So, yeah. how to defeat a bad guy? Just lock him in. Right. good plan. <laughs> so as we said, uh, only way to get rid of fire is dying water. or water. And I can hear something in the background. Yeah. So that sounds promising. Nice. I guess. <laughs> she baited. Yeah, since it's only in the cuts in the water, it doesn't actually like yes. trigger in terms of removing. I mean, the to fire. be fair, we don't know if it is water. It's just apparently some liquid there. Maybe it's just fuel. Yeah. And here I remotely access the next level. And uh, yeah, you can actually read some donations now because after the next part, I will need some uh, time to focus but yeah until then you can go for it I thought that was the perfect time for and I'm going for it we have a five dollar donation from Counterpillow saying no donations weird champ I guess chat forgot to and that is absolutely false to be honest because we have another five dollar donation from Ritin saying hee hee Lara hot <laughs> we have another five dollar donation from Genesis saying glad to see your burning passion for running this game and another five dollar donation from Demki saying this run is on fire. Keep up the great runs. Damn, three donations, three puns. You guys are on fire. <laughs> it doesn't count if it's the same pun twice. Come on. Pretty lit. <laughs> that wasn't a microphone, so it doesn't count either. <laughs> Donator. <laughs> So um, we're in underneath the Sphinx now, which is by far the longest level. Um, we need to collect some keys here to access the later part of the level. And previously we actually collected most of them. But like until one week ago, uh, one of our resident tassers decided to find some setup that worked for uh, skipping the keys RTA. Um, what I guess he didn't consider at first is that we are still on fire, so uh, we'll have to do some very precise skips while on fire and constantly healing myself, so uh, that will be fun. And it's what I basically spent my uh, last week on, as some people can attest. Uh, they watched me earlier on and <laughs> it always worked out perfectly. <laughs> no reason to worry. Sure, you will get it first try. Yes, I mean this one I will because I actually collected this one, so I would col still collect one key. Because uh, as you will see, the setups are quite elaborate, so it's actually uh, for this one it's easier to just pick it up as normal. But yeah, so this uh, will—it's similar to what I did in uh, the water level where you saw me opening the big gate, except that these require two flares that I need to like travel in between, and I need to pop out as soon as one extinguishes and stuff. So. I hope you like buffering inputs uh, and saving a lot.
I know fine. what I'm doing. <laughs> Just keep going. Ah, it didn't work. Uh, what was my backup for this? <laughs> <laughs> so just real quick, uh, since uh, the classic Tomb Raider is all uh, basically every input is one or zero, like it just happens or it doesn't. These setups are usually super consistent unless you press something wrong. That's why we have these super complicated setups for very precise things like this. So I want to quickly check here if this will work. Yes, it will. Okay, good. All right, nice. So now I just need to wait for that flare that I dropped second to uh, extinguish, and then I need to pick it up. Uh, uh, that might be a bit too late. Yeah, that's too late. Okay, good thing I saved before. So how is everyone enjoying the healing sounds? <laughs> there might be some more coming. Ah, uh, slightly too late. So, so <laughs> any time now. <Yeah>. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Please, just. <laughs> oh, that's too early. So I'm like a few sec. Yeah, there we go. Okay, first one. All right. First try. Yes. <laughs> Basically. Easy. No, essentially the same thing on this uh, second thing here. Yes, except completely different setup because why construct this thing like equally? symmetrical? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But the principle is the same yes. thing. Let's check that. <laughs> Was that too far? <laughs> we'll see. I want to check first. Uh, that's the wrong flare. Let me th throw that away. Okay, now that works. Good. Okay. All right, nice. Now it's just the timing again. Uh, actually, I might be able to buffer this one to get the correct frame. Oh, okay. Uh, what? That makes no sense. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Again, first try. Easy. Better safe. And yeah, one more. <laughs> so have you uh, switched from visual uh, or from counting to visuals? I'm sorry, I really need to focus right now. <laughs> we'll answer that later. Like, that's a legit question. What am I doing here? I don't even know which saves are what. Just save everything. Um. Okay, let's see if this works. Very nice. So, once again, I'll try to buffer this. Wrong input. There we go. Yeah. Better save twice. So easiest, yeah. easiest skip in the game. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, Temple of Horus, for uh, 
bringing that burden upon me. <laughs> Just some uh, sleepless nights, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, what actually we what we did earlier, like until one week ago, um, we would get three of the keys, and for the fourth one we would actually collect key items in the previous level that, when combined in this level, would result in that key because we didn't use them up. Um, but the really good thing about that route is that uh, in one of or actually in two of the side levels or side rooms you would go into to collect the keys, there would be actual water. So we would uh, be able to t burn out, uh, to uh, extinguish the flames. Well, both of those we skip now. So, <laughs> so it's just permanently burning. Yeah, I mean, we'll get some minutes without uh, burning, but they're still a bit further away. And what I'm doing here is I'm bypassing a trigger that A starts the trap, which is looming above me, and B would shut the door. And I, that's what I pr primarily want to avoid. Um, and the things that I collected here are statues that we need for the final level to actually spawn the final boss fight and finish the level. Um, yeah, so now I got all four of those. That's the only reason why we really got here. So um, yeah, I hope that was worth it. <laughs> and yeah, so now I'm just uh, going out of here and will make my way towards the final area. And uh, yeah, so you can read some donations. And I will, be, but before I go through fire and flames with these donations, I just want to do a quick shout out to uh, Malmo City, which is our uh, partner and host for this uh, event. Thank you very much uh, for having us here. And we have a donation train coming up. We have five dollars from uh, Harvard saying pigtails. Kadarev will understand. Yes, sadly I do. Uh, another five dollars from the game she plays. Lara's just a hunka hunka burning love. Another five dollars from Anubis169. Let the Chan fan the pan flames for a bit. And another five dollars <laughs> from Xoneri saying, I gotta say, this run is pretty lit. <laughs> and we indeed hit thirteen thousand dollar total donations from Alzheimer Fund and let's keep on going. Thank you so much for your support. I'm sorry, I, I would clap, but uh, I need to <laughs> use my hands. <laughs> clap with your mind. Um, yeah, so once again, I need to get rid of uh, all of the enemies here. And there are also some uh, statue heads. Nice, good RNG. So as you can see, the statue heads have uh, jewels in them. And I need to destroy those to open up these doors. Explosions. And this is a key item that I will need to actually solve the very last puzzle. <laughs> I mean, basically also the only puzzle that we will solve. And uh, yeah, so now it's just, and again, I need to get closer to the level end trigger so I can hit it with the binoculars. And uh, that's pretty much it. Some more enemies on the way that I need to get rid of. And yeah, that's about it. So let's see how that goes. I still don't know what's so funny, Lara. Like, stop. She's taunting you. I know. I would so as well after watching. <laughs> And so this is where we can uh, hopefully hit another level end. There we go. So now we're just two levels away from final boss level. But not final boss fight, because as I said, one more puzzle, which actually involves maths, so you know I will uh, mess it up. Super complicated math. Yes. There is also actually an in-game counter for uh, med packs used, just for your interest. But uh, it's actually not really keeping keeping up with what we're doing, so it like doesn't actually display the correct amount. I assume there is some kind of cooldown after you've used once; it doesn't like keep track of the next few ones. But would waste time to look at it anyway, so let's not do. It. So here we'll do what we call uh, a crouch bug. So you can kind of make Lara. Uh, 
grab some imaginary ledges, I guess. If you overlap her slightly with the ledge and turn her while crawling, she will then uh, grab the next best square end, which is in this case that one. And since it's a safety drop afterwards, she doesn't take any damage, which allows us to just... Uh, and now, the fire is just a flare. Right, so I can actually <laughs> save the flare. Actually, I can't because I still need it to embed in the uh, end of this level, but usually I would actually use a flare there to see when I hit the ground. So yeah. Sick time save. Yep. So yeah, we should now be able to hit the entrance here. Yes, there we go. So now we're inside the pyramid. And hopefully we will also get out of it. Oops. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> We're actually two, but whatever. So again, here, very last uh, binocular glitch, actually. There we go. And now it's time for a puzzle. So you can see a scale on, my on the right there. And there's another water skin here. And you can see on this wall it has two wave things. Also there is water, so... Sorry. Aww. At least I didn't forget to heal once, so that's, that's progress. Um, yeah, so... <coughs> yeah, you need to get certain water amounts here uh, by combining uh, two of the flasks that you have. Yes. And uh, you can always... Whenever Lara fills them, she fills them full, of course. So, yeah, it's kind of... Yeah. So for the first one, we need uh, two. For the second one, we need... Four and what for the are last the one, flask three. again? Three and five. Three and five. So yes. yeah, chat at home can do the the puzzle themselves if they yes. want to. Uh, no. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> three and five, and you need to get two, four, and uh, one. One, two, four, and one. Three, five, two, four, one. Chat. Let's do it. Are you doing this on purpose to like confuse me with all these numbers? Oh, <laughs> sorry. No, I I just want. I told you math is hard. Like sorry. Oh, four. Good. Just want chat to be able to solve it as well at home. I'm also saving before all of these, uh, before I, whenever I put in the water, because actually sometimes Lara just pours it next to the scale. <laughs> then you have to do it again. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the last one. Hopefully. There we go. Actually, I want to check my flares. Yeah, that's. Well enough. So these bats can actually be really annoying um, if they follow you. So I will do another one of those uh, crouch drops and then... Don't push me away. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so I will do another one of those crouch drops here where I grab an imaginary ledge. Um, if a bat follows me here, it can really mess it up. So I'd rather check to make sure that this time nothing happened. So another setup here using the camera to know when I have the correct angle. Drop the flare there, pick it up. This makes sense. This should work. And now we can skip going all the way down to the final boss. No, 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 no. Yes, we can. No. And <laughs> so this is actually, I cannot, cannot avoid this. Whenever you put them on no. here, you, she says no. Like, don't ask me. Um, yeah, so we now need to put these four statues no. we collected in the previous level. You know what? I think she's trying to warn you because you're like no. getting what? the apocalypse <laughs> on the earth here if you do this <laughs> ritual. Okay. So basically now the evil god will possess this statue. And exactly. Uh, we have a problem, so we need to run away in classic Tomb Raider fashion. Good thing there will be a lid we can uh, shut so the god will be contained. Definitely. Yes. A door is enough. Yes. <laughs> And there is definitely no way we will uh, skip that since it's tied to a very long cutscene. So I guess we will not save the world. But at least I can finish this run. So this also makes sense. Uh, if I would get it, that would make more sense. There we go. Uh, yes. Hmm. So this is very specific to that place. Uh, it's both the geometry like that has to be exactly like that and the ceiling has to be grabbable. So this is the only place in the game where you can do it, and it's actually very useful since we don't have to go around and uh, go all the way back up again. Also, since this is the last crawl space, I guess I have no, to. No, 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 no. Good. And then it's just uh, one more jump, 
and a few more traps and yeah John if you want to get ready on time I mean it's not quite yet we have one minute or so you could you could hover hand that <laughs> button yes no pressure <laughs> you're saying that as if I didn't know about the run <laughs> <laughs> just making sure I mean you did say you managed to pass the internal casting right yes yeah. and we all know that that's was very like extremely yeah. rigorous yeah. and strict So as you can tell, uh, final boss, we don't really care. You actually cannot beat the boss, he's completely invulnerable. So you just are supposed to run away from him. And at the top of this uh, shaft, you're actually supposed to go all the way up. And then there are cuts you would play where Laura shuts this lid. But uh, if you climb out on this tile, you can just uh, leave it open and skip the cutscene. So I guess apocalypse now. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, a few more traps. That I would definitely never die on, on any PB attempt. So. Which is definitely not why I'm saving here. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, so there are some jumps here you can do here to avoid sliding down these slopes, because that's very slow, I'm still doing it. So one more jump, and then we're about done. And that's the final sprint, and... Uh, Time. Nice. So yeah, that was Tomb Raider 4. Uh, yeah. Tomb Raider outside the Tomb Raider block, but that's always my Tomb Raider game, so it's fine. <laughs> I want to thank Eidgott for the very good explanations. Uh, actually made me, like, was I, made, I was able to actually focus on the important parts. No problem. Thank you very much. And John, for the important knowledge you passed on to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for the Happy donations. To oblige. Please keep them going. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you, everyone, and for me for having us. Uh, there will be two more Tomb Raider. Two yeah. more? Yes. Two Tune more. in for that. Two more Tomb Raider games. Uh, Wednesday? Wednesday, so looking forward to that. I uh, hope everyone enjoys the rest of the marathon. Anything you want to say? No. You're good? Okay, then I guess we're good. Thank you very no. much. Bye. <laughs>